हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सी एस एन आई टी ट्यूटोरियल्स बाय वृशाली इन अवर प्रीवियस सम सेशंस वी हैव डिस्कस ऑल दी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स ऑफ कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क विथ सिंपल एक्सप्लेनेशन एंड सॉल एग्जांपल्स आई हैव अटैच अ कंप्लीट कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क प्ले लिंक इन बिलो डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स नाउ इन टूडे सेशन वी विल डिस्कस इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन बैंक ऑन कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क एंड सिक्योरिटी सब्जेक्ट लेट स्टार्ट द सेशन first of all thank you so much for such a good response and positive feedback it encourage and motivate me to bring a new content for you so please share my channel with your friends and subscribe it so we have already discussed all the subjects in detail with simple explanation solve examples then practical demonstration and important question bank this playlist will be useful for computer science information technology aids and ai ml students you can use this playlist for your university exam then gate exam as well as interview purpose so please share this with your friends and subscribe it now in today's session we will discuss all the important question it's based on your previous year question papers here we will discuss the units like introduction data link layer network layer transport layer application layer and security some university having only unit 3 to 6 for your end sem exam but some universities having all units for your end sem exam so you can prepare it accordingly so generally this subject included in computer science and computer engineering branch the first topic is based on introduction to computer network so on this unit most important topic is first network devices so either they have asked the question like describe bridge gateway and access point or explain router and switch so basically you have to prepare explanation about all the network devices with some simple example for 4 to 6 marks next questions are either they have asked explain frequency hopping spread spectrum or explain direct sequence spread spectrum for 5 marks so you have to prepare accordingly now next question is based on sol examples so here you have to draw manchester and differential manchester coding bit sequence are given so these two questions have repeatedly asked in your previous year question paper so i am suggesting you you should solve this question regarding both sequence for 6 marks now most important question like explain lan man van for 6 marks so here diagrams are important first you have to mention the definition of lan their diagram their small explanation with real life example similarly man and van so this question generally asked for 6 to 8 marks next questions are based on the model either they have asked tcp ip model or osi model so here diagrams are important means 50% marks is for diagram and 50% marks is for explanation so you have to prepare their structured layer diagram of osi or tcp ip model compulsory and explain each and every components accordingly next questions are based on network topologies either they have asked explain star and bus topology or ring and mesh topology again diagrams are important here you should draw the diagram and explain it with real life applications for 6 marks now last question is for explain client server or peer to peer network architecture so here question number 7 to 12 all are the important question again here you have to draw the diagram of client server network architecture and peer to peer network architecture so here both network architecture asked for 3 to 3 marks right total 6 marks are there but sometimes what happen only explain client server ne network architecture with diagram this question is asked for 8 marks right so prepare accordingly the next unit is data link layer Yeah, ninety percent questions are theoretical, and ten percent question is based on numericals. Generally, uh, they have asked any one question from this. 
either brief explanation about HDLC protocol or explain PPP protocol. Sir, you have to explain this uh, both protocol at least seven to eight valid points. Next question is based on Hamming code and CRC. So particular code is given and you have to justify receiver using the Hamming code explanation for six marks or they have asked the question regarding cyclic redundancy check. A particular divisor and dividend is given and you have to solve it for five marks. Now, next question again theoretical like brief explanation about design issues in data link layer. So here you have to highlight all the issues with their explanation for four marks. Again, here you have to explain uh, framing, error control and flow control for six marks. So I am suggesting you explain all these three topics separately. First, explain framing with some simple example and also necessary diagrams, then error control and flow control. So here examples are important for six marks. Now next, short note on CSMA-CA and CSMA-CD protocol. Then again, one of the most important question, either they have asked sliding window protocol or stop and wait protocol. So in both questions, diagrams are important. So prepare complete diagrams of this protocol and explain it step wise. You have to explain the working of this protocol from start to end. So you have to prepare accordingly for six to eight marks. Next question is based on IEEE frame format. So here they have asked either IEEE 802.15 format or IEEE 802.3 frame format. So you have to just prepare frame format and explain every component in just one line because this question is asked for four to five marks. And the last question is difference between pure and slotted aloha. So sometimes this question is asked in difference between format or sometimes write a short note in this particular format. So again, prepare the diagram, explain it with simple example. So we have already discussed uh, all the important topics in our previous sessions. Now next unit is network layer. So on this unit again, 90% are theoretical question and 10% are numerical question. So in numerical question, they have asked this kind of question like IP address is given. You have to find out net mask, network address, network broadcast address and total number of hosts available in network. And another question again, IP address is given. You have to find out subnet mask, first IP address and last IP address in given series. So I am suggesting you, you should prepare these two question compulsory because same type of question repeatedly asked in your previous year question paper. So this kind of question generally asked for six to eight marks. Now the next question is like difference between circuit message and packet switching. So here you have to explain this difference in tabular format and diagrams are important. So this question is asked for six marks. So you have to write down six to seven points compulsorily in difference. Next questions are based on routing. So either they have asked distance vector routing explanation or link state routing explanation for six marks. Again, your two marks is for diagram and four marks is for explanation. Now, the next question is draw and explain header format of IPv6. So again, you have to prepare header format of IPv4 as well. But repeatedly, they ask the question regarding header format of IPv6. So here, you have to first draw header format of IPv6 and explain each and every components in one or two lines. So here, three marks are for header format diagram and three marks is for explanation. Now next questions are based on short notes because in network layer multiple protocols are there. So they have asked any two question from this either a short note on RIP protocol then ICMP IGMP protocol combinedly then ARP and RARP protocol or BGP protocol. So I am suggesting you you should understand the logic of each and every protocol 
and as per their logic just explain it with diagram for 4 to 6 marks next question list and explain functions of network layer so this question have asked for 4 marks right so here you have to explain any 4 functions of network layer give the heading of functions and explain it in 2 to 3 points in this way and last question explain NAT that is network address translation process for 6 marks. So this is again important question like almost 2 to 3 times they have asked this question. So again diagrams is important here and explain it according the translation process. So we have already discussed all these protocols switching techniques in detail in our last session. You can refer it for your exam purpose. Now, uh, next unit is based on transport layer. So, again, 10% questions are based on numerical and 90% questions are based on theoretical here. So, in numerical question, they have asked a question like this. Address is given. Now, you have to find out source port number, destination port number and total length of user datagram. So, I am suggesting you don't skip this question for preparation. Prepare this question because only one type of numerical question asked here like address based question asked here, right? Now next most important question is based on socket. So here this kind of question generally asked either for 6 marks or 8 marks. So first here you have to explain definition of socket, types of socket, then socket functions also with some diagrams. So, explain all these points uh, point wise like give the heading definition, give the heading types of socket, then functions of socket, diagram and some real life applications for 6 to 8 marks. Now, next question is based on quality of service. Again, theoretical question is there. First, you have to explain what exactly quality of service and explain any two methods for 6 marks. So, each method carry the two marks in this way now next again based on the protocols so tcp conjunction control this is an important question as compared to this protocol right so here you have to explain tcp conjunction control or sctp protocol or rtp protocol right so they have asked any one question from this for six marks so again i am suggesting you you should prepare logic of each and every protocol just understand the logic and explain this logic for 6 marks with diagram with some real life applications. Next questions are based on header format. So either they have asked the explanation of UDP header format or TCP header format. So here diagrams are compulsory. You should draw the diagrams of header format and explain each and every components point wise for 6 marks. Next question, list and explain transport layer services again for 6 marks. So, you have to explain any 4 services, any 4 features of transport layer, right? So, just give the heading of features, explain it 2 to 3 points at least. So, the next unit is based on application layer, right? So, in application layer, multiple protocols are there. See, the first topic important is MIME protocol. So either they have asked the question like write a short notes on MIME or they have asked the scenario based question like when web pages containing emails they sent out. So prefixed by MIME header why explain MIME header in this way. So basically you should prepare MIME this particular topic completely right. Next important question is what is HTTP? Explain HTTP request and reply message for 8 marks. So here 2 marks is for definition what exactly HTTP. 2 marks is for diagram. Uh, the request response diagram is there. Again 2 marks uh, again remaining 4 marks is for request and response explanation. So you have to prepare accordingly. Next questions are based on FTP protocol. So, either they have asked the separate question like explain FTP with respect to control and data connection 
or explain to ftp commands are there for six marks or they ask the short notes like write a short note on ftp and telnet so here ftp is uh, asked for three marks and telnet have asked for three marks in this way so here you have to explain the logic of every protocol just mention definition logic and their real life examples got it okay now next questions are based on working so in application layer uh, unit there are total three types of working uh, questions are there either they have asked the working of dscp protocol dns system then snmp protocol so i am suggesting you don't skip this question these are the most important question so prepare working of all these protocols with some sample examples and also draw diagrams wherever necessary for 8 to 9 marks next questions are based on the pop protocol so you have to write a short note on pop webmail protocol for 8 marks or the difference between pop and imap protocol so prepare accordingly now the last unit is based on computer security or network security here all are the theoretical questions on this particular unit the first and most important question is difference between symmetric and asymmetric key cryptography so this question is asked for 6 marks so you have to write down max 6 to 7 points with diagram with example right next question is based on the working uh, working of ipsec and also mention security services offered by ipsec for 6 marks so here draw the first diagram a uh, working diagram of ipsec and mention their services first list down all the services and explain it one or two points next question is based on the architecture model so either they have asked the question like explain itu security architecture model or operational model of network security for 6 marks so here diagrams are important just prepare a diagram and explain this diagram as per their working and flow of communication now next questions are based on information security topic so here either they have asked list and explain various elements of information security or short note on security policy and mechanism so in this particular question you have to mention at least six or uh, four to six security policy and mechanism and explain it with real life example next question is based on the topic on attacks in network security so either they have asked the question like explain types of network attack like active attack and passive attack for 6 marks or they have asked the question difference between active and passive attack so if they ask the question uh, like difference between so draw the tabular format and explain this uh, particular attack with real life example next question is based on ssl so either they have asked the question explain secure socket layer handshake protocol for 6 marks or explain ssl in detail so both questions carry the same answers right so prepare accordingly now last questions are based on the short notes because also in security multiple terms are there right so either they have asked a short note on firewalls https protocol ids then mime for 5 to 6 marks so we have already discussed all the some protocols attacks in our last lectures so you can refer it so this is all about a uh, computer network security important question prepare accordingly all the best thank you